Hello ladies and gents, my name's Lost and welcome to the first episode of Don't Starve Pixel Edition. Uh, so we're going to be creating a game, uh, much like Don't Starve as the name <laughs> might suggest, but we're going to do it like a pixely based kind of thing. We're going to create a base. The base of Don't Starve is what we're going to create, so I'm aiming to have, you know, chopping down trees, inventory management, um, things like crafting, and we're going to get the base of like a survival game going. So yeah. Uh, today we're going to just get movement working and the room set up and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, let's get started. So the first thing we do is we need to set up the room. So let's go ahead and change that. We'll say room. Um, just We'll just call it room well because it's like a big open world sort of place, isn't it? Don't starve. Uh, let's make it massive. Let's go with 1,200 or 12,800 by maybe, I don't know, 7,200. That sounds good to me. Let's right off the bat, really good practice, let's get a state machine going, we're going to call this enum. Uh, in fact, let me make this bigger, I almost, oh, that would have been a real bad mistake. <laughs> I'd have had to have re uh, redone this entire episode had I have not done this. So yeah, let's call it enum play state. Uh, and just to begin with, we're going to have controls. That's the only state we need to start with. This will, um, you know, it's just going to be the state where we move and select things and, you know, all that sort of basic stuff. Now, real quick, let's just create an object. I'm going to name the character Object Rupert. <laughs> I don't really know why. I just kind of want to name him Object Rupert. I think that's stupid and weird enough to be in a game like Dirt Starve, so that's just what we're doing. No offence when I'm uh, called Rupert, <laughs> or like two of you. I apologise. Um, so we're going to need to enable viewports. Let's get enable viewports, and we want viewport zero. This is going to be um, 640 by 360. Just a really small, like pixely kind of resolution. Uh, you can do just do that again for the viewport, and we'll make it follow Object Rupert. Now I'm going to go for a camera speed of two. Minus one means instant. Like if you have it as minus one, it means that it'll always be on the, the player, like um, like right on him all the time, like instantly. But I like it at two, so it trails a little bit. You can play with that and do whatever you want. I really, you know, it's up to interpretation, I guess. But yeah, go ahead and put six forty by three sixty in there. And you know what, just to start with, oh actually, sorry, everyone just calm down, right? <laughs> First we need to have a new um, instances layer, and I'm just going to name this player. Now I want the player to be on um, the player level, instance level, if you know what I mean, like right at the top here, because um, later on we're going to want to be um, closing or like deactivating a lot of instances in the instance layer, and obviously we never want the player to be deactivated. Um, We'll talk about that later on though, that's way off yet, let's just focus on what we're doing here. So we've got the room set up, that looks cool to me. Uh, so what we need to do now is we're going to add some sprites for Rupert and the grass tiles and stuff like that. So first let's go with, and you'll find these in the link below, I will link to these uh, so you can have them. So we're going to go with Sprite Rupert Idle and, uh, ooh, where is it? <laughs> I think it was in here. Uh, yes, there we go. So first of all, we want the idle animation. Uh, I'm just going to sort of put it down here, sort of centralised. Maybe I like 20 by 46, we'll go with that. Game speed is going to be 60. Uh, let's not worry about collision masks just yet. We can talk about that at a later time. Uh, but yeah, let's go for Sprite. Rupert Run. Not ton, but Run. And we'll do the exact same. Now I'll just speed this bit up. And in fact, what we're going to do is we're going to edit this image just a little bit uh, because I've realised that it's like it's not touching the floor, and it really could could do like there's no reason for it not to. Uh, so we're going to go edit image, and let's just get the player entirely in here. Now I think I don't think it will go outside of there. Let's just check real quick. Yep, all inside, all inside. Good stuff. Um, so yeah, then I'm just going to go to image, and I'm going to go to crop all frames to selection, and there we go. Uh, maybe that was a little bit anal of me, <laughs> I don't know, but I'm just going to do it this way. And yeah, let's... I feel like it was about there, wasn't it? Oh, the X and Y is going to be different on the origin, because this, this canvas is a little bit bigger, but I suspect it was roughly there, so let's go there for now. Anyway, let's not get too... oops, let's not get too caught up with that. So now let's get the sprite tile grass on the go. 
like that and for some reason I'm a really unorganized person for some reason this is still in the strategy resource management project don't ask me why <laughs> I'm just terribly organized hit get the speed to zero I'm not sure that's integral but I just like to and now we're gonna add that as a tile set so I'm just gonna go TI grass I'm gonna put it in here the tile width is 160 and the tile height is 90 uh, not 9 but 90 oh, there we go fits perfectly um, now we need to sort out object object Rupert. So he is going to have some variables. Now let's just rename this file so we don't get ridiculously lost in what we're doing. So image speed uh, 0 0.4. That's just it's where he needs to be. It's it's a it's, I don't know. It just it just works the best. Depth is equals to minus y. This also needs to be in the create event, but we'll sort that out in a moment. We're going to start the player off right in the center of the room. Uh, I don't know, I just kind of want to. Maybe, perhaps later on we can make that randomized as to where he starts. But for right now, let's get him right in the center. Let's set the camera. Let's make, sh make sure the camera is um, you know, right on him to begin with. Because obviously it's going to be following him, but the camera's going to start in the top left. So it's going to like shift the camera all the way to the middle. Let's just let's just move it there like manually. Uh, so. View camera at zero, and we're going to move it to our x minus 640 uh, divide 2, and our y minus 360 divide 2 as well. So, what that will do is it because our room starts like our resolution starts 640 by 360, is that right? So, yeah, something like that. I think, yeah, that's right. So, it will x, so the 640 minus 2, what's that? 320, yes, so it'll move the camera to the left that much and up, that just puts the player right in the center, that, that's all that's for. Right, let's have um, stats. The only stats we need for now is my speed. Oh, oh yeah, I've got to call this, in fact, that's, yeah, whatever, let's go with my speed. I was gonna say let's go with speed, but the game already takes that, doesn't it? That's, oh, it's so annoying that the game does that, that game maker does that, but whatever. We'll go with my speed and we'll set that to 2.5, because start there. Now we need technical vars, I'm just gonna leave this technical. We're going to need state equals uh, player state dot controls uh, anim idle equals sprite Rupert idle. Oops. Uh, we need anim run. Let's go with uh, sprite Rupert. Oops. And run. There we go. So. Let's go to the draw then, and we'll because we need to draw the shadows on these characters because um, I haven't included them in the sprites, so we're going to do it in the draw then. So shadow, and the way that you do that is you then let's draw set alpha to I guess like zero point three. Uh, that'll set it like really translucent so you can see through it, and then we'll draw uh, ellipse with a color. And we'll draw it on our x. So it'll start at the player's x minus 10. Um, the, and at the player's y minus 5. So it's like slightly above the player, just above his feet, you know. And then we'll say x plus 10. So it comes out wider than the player. And we'll also go with y plus 3. So it like comes down beneath beneath his feet as well, you know. This is just what I want to go with. You could change this. If you want to sit and play with this for a little bit, then feel free like get 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 where you want it to be and outline false and then we'll set the uh, alpha back to one afterwards and then draw cell because you have to remember that the lower something is drawn means it's on top of everything else so everything drawn on top is underneath it so the player will be drawn on top of the shadow rather than the other way around because you know you need to be stood on the shadow, not the shadow on top of you, you know? Anyway. So the next step is we need a step event. And I've covered state machines um, in the past on this channel. In fact, it was recently, I think it was last week. So make sure you have a look at that. Um, state control, we'll call it. Because I go more in depth there about what's going on here. So depth um, equals minus y. Although I'll try, I'll try and go in depth again, but I would, you know, I'll try and do it swiftly. So we're going to have a switch and we're going to switch the state. It's like an if statement. So 
We've got, there's only one case, and our case is player state. Oops, player state dot controls. And if the player state dot controls is currently our state, then we're going to run this script. We haven't created it yet, but we're going to in a moment. We'll run the script. Script player controls. And then at the end of that, you save break, and that kind of means stop. So let's now set up this script player control. So we'll go into our scripts and we'll create a new one. And yeah, let's just make sure it's script uh, player controls. So first, let's get the, the character moving if we hold down the left mouse button. So we'll go if uh, mouse check button is mouse button left, then we'll just say if uh, sprite index does not equal anim run, then uh, sprite index equals anim run and image index equals zero so it starts right at the beginning. Uh, of course if it if we're holding down the left button and the animation is already animation run then it'll just stay in the exact sub image that it should so that's why we do that. And we'll just say if um, uh, mouse x is bigger or equal to the player's x then the image x scale will equal one so it'll be facing the right uh, else image x scale will equal minus one and then we'll just say mp potential step and we'll just head towards the mouse x and the mouse y at um, my speed and we'll check all as false uh, We'll check all is true, actually. This may change. I don't know how we're going to do the pathing just yet. This is just how I want to do it for the moment. I don't know if we're going to be using solids. I don't know if everything we're going to try and dodge everything. I don't know if we're going to run through things. I'd quite like your feedback on that. Depending on your answer, might <laughs> depend on how compli com complicated this has to get. But for now, we'll, we'll just go on the basis that we're going to not be able to walk through things, okay? And anyway, we'll just say else. So if we're not pressing the left mouse button, We'll just say var travel x equals zero, var travel um, y equals zero. Now, I'd, I would like to say that this entire thing is subject to change. This is just how we're doing it for now. This this may not stay like this. We may revise the controls. Um, but for right now, this is what we're going with. So if the keyboard check is uh, odd, w, uh, like that. Then we'll say travel y equals minus 20. Because obviously we're traveling up at that point. Remember, when you minus the y, you go up. Okay. And we'll just say else if. And let's, in fact, just copy this because <laughs> I'll be typing all day at this rate. And I don't want these episodes to be too long because I don't want them to be boring. You know, I want them to be, I want them to be entertaining and fun and, you know, help you learn. Like, uh, it's, it helps if things are, you know, nicely presented. So let's go. This time we need to go um, if keyboard check is um, A. So this means we're moving left. And this time we have to just um, have two lines for this one because we have to go first of all travel x minus 20. But we also have to say uh, image x scale e oops, equals minus 1. Uh, and then we'll just say else if um, it's D then image x scale equals 1 and we just uh, equals it's just 20 yeah okay let's get rid of the plus 20 there. that was my mistake it should just be 20 you don't need that was yeah <laughs> never mind uh, I do apologize we also forgot to set Rupert's sprite to uh, to Rupert idle so yeah so next up we then have to say um, if uh, travel x does not equal 0 our travel uh, y does not equal zero because zero is where it starts. So we're just checking that um, travel zero, uh, sorry, travel x and y actually equals something. So then we'll just say if um, sprite index does not equal anim run, and then we'll just say sprite index uh, oops, equals animation run. Whilst image index equals zero, uh, 
and then MP potential step. And in fact, we'll just uh, yeah, we'll copy this, copy this, but then replace this with uh, travel X and also travel Y. Uh, and then we just kind of have to say else, and then we'll just say if sprite index does not equal anim idle, then sprite index equals anim idle, and image index equals zero. So now let's just check that and make sure it all works. So as you can see, we can move. Obviously, this is really small and stuff. And you know, in the next episode, we're going to work on um, we're going to generate all the tiles, and we're also going to work on making the camera zoom in and out. And we're also going to allow the screen to be bigger because we're not working with this small little window. I can't do that. So we're going to make the window bigger, but we'll do that using code. And uh, yeah, so thank you very much for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next one. Hey guys, lost here. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you're new and want more content like this, and please give me your thoughts down below in the comments. Catch you guys later.